Welcome to the Next Generation Sofa. We're here with Fury and Frost, and we're here to discuss our kind of heart. And this is the first episode of our season. Uh, yeah, which can discuss like, how to play the game because, like, um, the game's just come out and um, it's quite difficult to get into. Yeah, um, it's actually very different from any other sort of fighting game, especially when you play things like uh, Marvel Street Fighter. Especially uh, Street Fighter. Especially Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to introduce you to the general mechanics of the game and how it works so we can become a better player. So all fundamentals, some character notes, some arcana notes will be discussed around. So stay tuned and keep watching. Alright, Frost, I know you've like been playing the game for a while. Even before it's been released, yet. Um, go over a couple of things that makes this game so different to other fighting games on the scene at the moment. Well, one of the things that makes this game different to other fighting games is the homing button. Uh, it's a button that will send your character directly to your opponent. Um, as you can see, there, both characters go straight towards them, no matter what they are. So if you super jump, it, or if you just jump, it, yeah, it just goes towards the opponent. And you can manipulate this to do loads of like, like you know, weird movements. And come at weird angles. Mm. Um, another thing that makes this game different is the arcade button. Now, every character has access to specific tools which you can choose. Like, Love um, on the top left gives every character in the game a set of fireballs, fireballs and lasers if you really want them. So you can choose your tools. Alright, so. Now, now that we're going to be explaining about the game, um, the first thing to go over is number notations and just standards in general. Yeah. Um, number notation is done by looking at your numpad at a keyboard. So, 6 would be forward, um, 8 would be jump, 4 would be back, or back would be 4, yeah, and 2 would be down. So, doing a fireball motion would be called 236. Yeah, the reason why we're telling you this is because uh, throughout the series, we're actually going to actually. Um be uh, using notations and uh, we'll be using this format as it's actually quite important for you to understand um, how to move. So when we say uh, 236 uh, A, we mean a 5 or a down forward, a down forward motion with uh, A button. So it's important for you to know. So. The next set of notations that you need to know is um, A, B, C, D, E. Um, a is a light attack, B is a medium attack, C is a hard attack, D means homing, and E means arcane button. So um, yeah. yeah, now that we have that out of the way, um, on the on, on the actual arcade stick, it will actually be um, layered in a sort of uh, N format. So it'll be A, B, C at the top, uh, D in the bottom left, and it should be E on the bottom right. Uh, I'll, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah. So if you play Guilty Gear, it would be like the the E button would be where your dust would be, and your that homing dash would be where your punch would be. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the buttons. Um, a is a light attack, uh, very self-explanatory. B is a medium attack, very self-explanatory. C is a hard attack, self-explanatory. Um, D is a homing button. Um, it goes, like I said, it goes straight towards your opponent. Um, you can cancel moves into homing. Uh, not every single move, but a very large majority of moves. So just block for a moment. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've cancelled uh, my attack into her dash. But I have a question. That, I'm guessing that sort of tool, is that free or...? Mm, it's not free. Yeah. Um, I'll explain that half a minute. And um, another thing is that um, you can press the homing button again to speed yourself up. Yeah. But I'll be explaining more about homing later because it's quite complicated. Yeah, it's one of the things that are on this game. Must be fun, mm. I think, but, uh... The E attack is an extra hard attack. It, 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 it causes wall slam if it hits you. Um, that's, that's standing E or 5E. If you do down E or 2E, it will launch your opponent into the air. Um, yeah. um, you can't block this in the air, so block, jump and block. Yeah, it, it just doesn't work. Um, another thing is you use these to use your arcane specials. So, so for example, with love, a quarter circle forward and E would give you a fireball. Uh, Dragon Punch with E or 623 E is your And this depends on your arcane choice, and we'll cover that also later. Um, and that's it. Alright, in Arcana Heart 3, there seems to be a lot of like 
various bits of gauges and bars and points on the screen. Um, it makes it, to any new player, it makes it seem quite daunting and complicated, unlike the Street Fighter where you've just got the health bar and you've got the super meter and the ultra and the ultra in the corner or something like that. But explain what everything means in this game, just so it gets a bit clear to all our viewers. Alright, so first thing I should start off with is probably the meter bar at the bottom called the Arcana Gauge. Mm. And um, this bar is just like your standard super bar, except that it recharges automatically. So, for example, if you look at the bottom left, I've got one full stop. It, the number there shows you how many you've got at the moment. And if you use a super, yeah, it goes to zero and it yeah. takes one it takes bar away. A while. If you notice, it recharges. So basically, that's your super meter. As long as you, as long as you've got one bar, you can do actions that cost meter. Yeah. The so. next one at the top. Well, okay, let's not include the health bar and the win counters because that's really self explanatory At the top left, you've got the force gauge. Mm -hmm. um, that's just another another type of bar. I'm going to explain that in a lot more detail later because it's quite complicated. Mm -hmm. um, for now, all you need to know is uh, if it's flashing blue, you can use it. Mm. And that's right, it. When it's red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, besides the light bars and the rounds itself, uh, uh, the only other thing is there's an uh, actual. Um, there's probably going to be a, a bar or gauge for certain, certain characters, like for Xenia. She has. Um, a, a gauge that you can actually charge. So for every character is different. In uh, Arcane's case, she has Kodama, so she can actually do charges and actually use them to power like, moves and stuff like that. But it's very character dependent. So if you do tend to choose a character that has this something, just keep an eye on it. Okay. Like, yeah, well. right, that explains quite a lot. Um, yeah, cool. And um, just go through a couple mechanics and sub mechanics on how this game works. Especially when you're so different to most 2D fighters. Just show just ways of getting around. Well, first thing um, that we, we should cover the most basic um, mechanics in the game. We've got um, jumps. Um, we've got double jumps. And um, obviously everyone has different jump heights. Uh, we have air dashes. You can only air dash once um, while you're in the air. And um, you can actually air dash and then double jump. So you can do both. Um, now, the next things you have after that is going to be throws, um, which is the A and D button at the same time. If you press A and D, all right. In this game, you have two types of throws. Yeah, it does look like it hurts. Um, you have two types of throws. You've got um, neutral throws, which is just yeah, which is just A and D by itself. And normally you can combo after those, like but you know, it uses cancels to get them. Coming, coming up. Just yeah, you just don't really good at it. The next one we've got um, is side throws. Now, um, side throws are faster than normal throws. Mm -hmm. They are harder to break, but they you can't combo them, yeah. and they just knock you down. Um, it's, it's better used as an option to when you uh, think the opponent is going to guard or something. What a really quick way to actually get in um, on, blo on the blocking opponent. So, yeah. but of course you sacrifice uh, the potential damage because uh, I think it's like. Um, Half is it's, it's twice as fast as a normal throw, mm. but um, it's uh, yeah, you can just sacrifice damage for it, so it's entirely your choice which throw you want to go. For. It does sound that like it's um, sounds like it gives it gives a reason to have two, yeah, yeah, throws. actually, there is a, a, some incentive yeah. for using it, yeah. Um, uh, you can also break the throws by doing pretty much A and D yeah, as well, so if one, two, three, go, yeah, it breaks. Um, you can do it in the air as well. Um, in the air, you only have one type of throw. Yeah, um, it's just, it's just air throw. Rare! <laughs> 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 that, that was quite militant. <laughs> that, was, that was quite sick. Um, we've got bursts. Now, burst is C and E at the same time, so if one, two, three, bang. Um, as you can see, um, when you burst, it knocks your opponent away. Yeah. And um, on the top left, the force um, gauge, is recharging slowly, and that happens because yeah. burst. You know, yeah. you can use burst when you have a flashing blue force gauge, and if it recovers quickly, yeah. you'll be able to burst. A bit In this game, time. burst is usually to get yourself out of a, a potential game-winning combo or a high damage combo. So if like, if like you get attacked, 
or whatever. I can burst in the middle of the combo itself, so as you can see, I can knock him away to give him some space. Although I just uh, use this turtle bit uh, judgment, it's very important because uh, you're forced to charge at different intervals. So um, only use it to when you think you can actually get a lot of that, or when you potentially can die. That's yeah, I mean, I mean, it also depends against what character you fight. Because if you fight against Catherine, you want to burst ASAP. Yeah. If she puts you in the corner, you're going to die. Yeah. So for, for example, if you're against a rush down character, sometimes using burst early is a viable option because it gets you them off you and it stops their pressure entirely, especially if zoning characters. So can up to you. To put you on can the burst explosion be blocked? You can yes. block an explosion. Um. Um. I don't know, hit me in the air. No, you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> because, yeah, you can block it, but you cannot bait it, so you can't punish. You, there are some ways to punish, but they're really unconventional. Um, you just take my word for it for now that you can't punish bursts. Okay. Um, the next thing after that is be supers, I guess. I mean, um, A plus B and a motion will give you a super. So, for example, with Akane, um, 6, 2, 3, A and B at the same time gives um, some sort of dragon punch looking super. You know, it takes one bar and um, inputs the pen repair character. So do uh, how do you do kill? Is it seven twenty and six twenty? Seven twenty A and B. A and B. A and B. That was just normal one. Or <laughs> well, you just have to take my word for that yeah, one. That one as well. Crap, didn't it? So, no, no. Yo, man, just, wait. Ah, I can do it. Yeah, there okay. We go. You, you, you got it. Okay, um, so yeah, just A, any emotion and A and B gives you a super. Um, the last thing we're gonna cover, well, for this section, actually, no, it's not the last one, is teching. Um, in this game, you have two t two times you, you can tech. You can tech in the middle of somebody's combo if the combo doesn't, yeah. is, you know, some fake combo. You do that just by mashing buttons, so like, um, I'm gonna launch into the air, you're just gonna mash buttons, yeah? Mashing more buttons does not make you tech quicker. Mm. It's just basically it's timing, mm. if anything. So, mm. so um, yeah, pressing buttons will cause you to uh, get out. You do not want to uh, when you mash. You don't you don't want to use the hard or the arcane button because you might burst. Um, another thing is wall teching and uh, to wall tech or ground tech. You want to be holding any button when you touch the ground or touch the wall. So hold a button. It goes. Um, you have different ways you can tag. Um, oh, that's it. That was bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So um, let's wait for it to come back. Let's talk. Get ready. So tag, hold up. She jumps when she tags. Tag, hold down. She goes straight to the ground. Another way, another time is when um, you knock somebody down on the ground and they can tap the ground. So, um, what's what move knocks down on the kill? Uh, Try jump B. Right, yeah, do jump. So, if you just hold the button, it texts. Uh, hold the button, it texts like that. Uh, let's do it in the screen so we can see a back Back tap. She moves more backwards. Mm -hmm. um, and the back tech can be casual into specials, depending on each character. So do it again. I, I can't do it. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. I can die. That kick. Have you heard of Harkin? <laughs> As you can see, I haven't recovered yet, but I'm, I cancelled it into a special. Um, you can also um, grab the text. Now you can grab air text and um, yeah, air text and wall text. So I'm gonna put into the corner. Like um, let me wait until my bar comes back. Hmm. Right. So take the wall. So well, as soon as I hit you, get ready to press the button. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can grab somebody's tech. They can still break it, but air breaking in this game is very difficult. Um, same for the air. So, uh, that wasn't really it. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, you can basically grab people's tech. Um, and the last thing I guess to cover for um, basic mechanics is homing. Um, yeah, it's the button that sends you to your opponent. Um, you can you can cancel moves into home, so why not take three into home? 
like that. Like, that lets you do more combos. Mm -hmm. Let's let's do air combo. So you, you cancel a sweep like one, two, three, dash A, and yeah. it launches them. I think the best way to think of it is uh, just immediately after the D itself to, to press a, a, a normal D or a D. It, it varies between character, but that's the best way to do it. Side so if you just do D, it just ends up as a hidden dash. So you, it's best to always press the button straight after to cancel it straight away into a D. Otherwise, it just won't the chain at all. I know um, the different types of homing you've got is on the ground, you've got um, forward homing. You can't block during that. So um, do a forward homing and try to block. My forward homing is kind of. Oh, that's one. No, no, it's, it's just. Uh, yeah. No, no, do it from far away, do it from far away. Yeah, do it. Yeah. You, you can't block doing that. Um, so, yeah, it just gets, it's like a dash. You can cancel it at any moment. Well, yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's good for forward momentum, but I really would suggest that unless you can cancel it. It's good for combos, actually, yeah. because you, you can cancel stuff into because it. Because it can be cancelled straight away, if you sweep into forward homing, into a combo. Mm. Um, another type of homing you've got on the ground is neutral homing. Uh, neutral homing is the fastest type of homing. It moves the fastest, mm -hmm. and when you boost with it, it goes really fast. And that can be done in the air as well. Then you've got directional homing. Now, directional homing is a lot slower, but it's easier to control. So, um, yeah. As you know, it's the sort of track in my, uh, the sort of track in here. So, really good for uh, just general use, really. Uh, especially if the character is moving fast like this. Yeah, you, you can alter you can like alter the character's um, trajectory. That's the right word. Using that. Um, and then the last one is backwards homing and backwards homing is invincible. Um, jump into me, and I'm going to do that um, and do backwards homing. Uh, you actually cross yourself up with it. No, back home. Oh, back home. Yeah. See, as you can see there, it misses. Um, backwards homing in this game has invincibility frames, and invincibility frames are very useful for getting out of stuff. But I'm going to explain that more in the next video because uh, it's a bit complicated. Yeah. Right. So um, yeah, that would be pretty much a wrap up for the first video. Right. Yeah. Guys, um, from you, uh, just, uh, these are just some basics for you to actually get to grips with the system itself and all that. Once you've mastered these, just to kind of play around the game itself, once you've mastered them, uh, just go on to the next video. And uh, we'll uh, continue from there. I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you have fun with this game more than anything else, and make and sure remember to send queries to um, yeah. the email. To the email yeah. that I'm there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's here. Yeah. Here somewhere. 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 Mm. But anyways, uh, alright guys, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do that. Can't wait to see you next time. Why? Um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, see you yeah. next time. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start uh, explaining about how the HUD system works, or what, like, what exactly on the screen and what it means. So. Uh, um, okay. So first thing to start is that at the top left, you've got the force gauge. Edit. <laughs> <laughs>